Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the AP Calculus BC 2017 free response questions, and we're looking at number 5 here. So let f be the function defined by f of x is equal to this. Find the slope of the tangent line to the graph at x equals 3. Well, I need to find the derivative of this first. Um, I'm going to do... Um, Doesn't matter, do quotient rule. You could do it as chain rule too. Uh, bottom times the derivative of the top, that's zero, minus top times the derivative of the bottom. That's um, minus three times the derivative of the bottom is four x minus seven, divided by the bottom squared. Okay, yeah, because when I want the slope of the tangent line, I basically need the derivative at x equals three, right? So um, now I plug in 3, uh, negative 3 times 4 times 3 minus 5, that's 12, that's 5, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, so 2, 9, 18, 18 minus 21 is minus 3, plus 5 is 2, 2 squared, so that's minus 15 over 4, okay? Find the x coordinate of each critical point on the interval. 1 less than x less than 2.5. Classify each critical point as location of relative min, relative max, or neither. Uh, and justify your answers. So let's take a look at this f prime of x a little bit. This is negative 3, 4x minus. Can I factor this at all? Uh, I think it does factor. I get a 10. Wait, 2 and 5 is 10. 10 and 1. Or 2 and 5. Yeah. Because I kind of want to know if I have any holes of 0. But this ends up being uh, 2x x. So this factors into, both, um, I think I do minus 1 here and minus 5. So that's plus 5 minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7. And each of these is squared because uh, the whole thing is squared. Okay. But uh, note that we don't have any canceling. So um, these are not mins or maxes. The, 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 the derivative down here, like these are, um, uh, these are asymptotes because they don't cancel with the numerator. So I only need to worry about when the top's equal to zero. That's the only, because I, I don't, so I have undefined derivatives here, but those are vertical asymptotes. So those are not going to be mins or maxes. Um, but I have, uh, I want to know when this is equal to 0, and that happens at 4x minus 7, when that's 0, or that's x is equal to 7 fourths. And that's because um, only the top needs to be 0 when I divide two numbers. If the top is 0, then the whole thing is 0, as long as the bottom is not 0. Okay, so that's where that occurs. And so now we need to look at what happens to the left and to the right of this. Well, um, to the right of this, the top is positive. So if I have a number line here, I'm doing kind of first derivative test. If 7 fourths were sort of bigger than this, say it were like 2, at 2, uh, this would be positive, but then this times negative, so that's negative. And 2, like the whole denominator is always positive, so that means this would be negative. And to the left of this, um, this would be negative times this negative would make it positive. So this is a, the slopes are increasing and then they're decreasing after the 7 fourths, right? So that makes this a um, relative max. Now critical points actually are technically when um, the derivatives are, are 0, but x is equal to, so when the denominator is 0, when the derivative is undefined, is when there's also a critical point. So I need to look at when the denominators are 0. That happens at 5 halves and 1. But these are um, neither, because these are asymptotes. So these are neither uh, mins or maxes. Okay. C, using the identity that this is equal to that, evaluate the integral from 5 to infinity of f of x dx to show the integral diverges. So I want to do the limit as uh, k goes to infinity, the integral from 5 to k. That's how you write an improper integral. And I'm going to do the integral of 2 over 2x minus 5 minus 1 over x minus 1 
dx. Okay. So each of this is so they did the partial fraction decomposition for you autom automatically. They didn't make you do that, which is kind of nice. So uh, each of these is kind of a natural log. Um, because the derivative of this is this. This is just the derivative of 2x minus 5 is 2. This integral is just ln of 2x minus 5 minus ln of x minus 1. Those are the integrals. And I'm going to evaluate from 5 to k. Let's simplify this a little bit. This is a ln because when I subtract two, um, two natural logs, I can divide. Right? That's my property of log. So I'm going to plug in k. So I have ln of 2k minus 5 over k minus 1 minus ln absolute value of 10, 5 over 4. OK? Now I want to compute the limit. I want to evaluate the limit as k goes to infinity of all of, of this whole thing. Well, um, this limit approaches um, this limit approaches two. So when I uh, of ln absolute about two k minus five over k minus one, and that's because you do the coefficients here, the coefficients of the the highest degree polynomial. Because basically, as as k gets bigger, these smaller terms don't matter. Like when k is like ten thousand, it's two times ten thousand over ten thousand. This five and the one don't matter. So that's like almost like ln of 2. So this ends up being ln of 2 minus ln of 5 fourths. And again, because there's a there's a there's a difference here, I can do the difference of logs is just dividing ln of 2 over 5 fourths is equal to ln of 8 fifths. Okay? So that is the value of the area there. Determine whether the series converges or diverges and state the conditions of the test used for determining convergence or divergence. Well, so we did the integral test basically. Um, so we use the integral test for convergence. Now the, the conditions are that um, uh, I think f of x is to be decreasing. That's one of the big criteria. I don't know what the other ones are, if there are other. f of x is decreasing. And um, this, the way you can do that is um, here, if we look at the first problem, after f starting at 5, the slopes are negative, right? And so they'll continue to be negative because once I'm right of the 5 fourths, this denominator is positive, and this is. So that means f x is decreasing because f prime of x is less than 0 for x is greater than 7 fourths. And since we're integrating from 5 to infinity, where de f of x is decreasing for sure over that whole time. So it meets that criteria. And the integral test basically says if the integral converges, then this converges also. So this is the answer is it converges by the integral test. Okay, I'm gonna look at the solutions. I might have missed a requirement in there, and if there is, then I'll um, I'll describe it. So that's question three. Uh, I was gonna say it didn't look anything like it. Uh, negative 15 over four. Good, that's what I got. Uh, seven fourths has a relative max at seven fourths. Uh, they did not list the other critical points. The negative ones being zero, which I guess is okay. Technically, it's when critical points are where the derivative doesn't exist. The derivative doesn't exist at those points where the denominator is zero. But we got this relative max is seven fourths. Um, ln of eight fifths, right? We got that. F is continuous, positive, and decreasing. Ah, it's positive and decreasing. So it is decreasing. So it converges. Um, is it positive? Well, yeah, it is continuous. It is decreasing. And is it positive? Oops. Um, uh, well, the denominator um, is, so is it always positive? When I'm, when I'm starting at 5, I think it's always positive because, uh, is this one always bigger than that? Let me see. Did that they have to show that? Uh, and 
Oh, the or you could use limit comparison test. But since we already did the integral test, that's why I did it. So it's continuous positive and decreasing to do the integral test. Or that was a good idea to do the limit comparison test. Okay, so hope you found that helpful. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.